project manager for this new second generation Nissan Armada 2017, right? 2017. So completely new, uh, this vehicle from the, the one that we, that you had before, right? That is correct. Everything's new on it. Everything. <laughs> So the the one the previous one was used to be built on the Titan platform, so a pickup platform. That is correct. It was built off of our Nissan Titan platform out of, and it was built in Canton, Mississippi. This new generation is built off of the Nissan Patrol platform, and it's built in Kyushu, uh, Japan. Yeah, the Patrol obviously has like a, a long, long, long history, right? A very long history, back from 1951 all the way now until 2017 model year Armada. And actually. Patrol is still sold in some uh, some regions of the world, right? Yes, this platform, this exact vehicle, is sold globally under the Patrol name, mainly in our uh, uh, Middle East Gulf countries, Gulf Coast countries, um, as the Nissan Patrol. However, here in the United States, we have to homologate it and bring in our Armada routes. So not only do we need to have you know that global Nissan Patrol platform and that heritage and that capability, but we also bring in the Armada ness and what's unique to the United States. And here we have the 2017 Armada. Yeah. Um, I did a video of uh, the concept car that you show in Chicago during a presentation in Miami, and it got tons of views. People talking about, I mean, people from outside the U.S. talking about that it, is, it was the Patrol, but like completely different name, and like some specifications also different for the U.S. market. Yes. So what we ended up needing was uh, our crash performance from the Global Patrol is a little bit more stringent in the U.S. market. So our, our platform and chassis is specific to the U.S. from our QX80, okay. our Infinity sister model. And then the, uh, the upper body and the interior refinement are, is from the Nissan Patrol. A uh, huge improvement in the powertrain. Yes, it is. Uh, our new powertrain is our 5.6 liter endurance V8. It is shared with the Nissan Titan. And, uh, and it gets 390 horsepower, best in class, and it is a 74 horsepower improvement over our first generation. Our efficiency numbers actually went up, so we actually have increased our miles per gallon in this generation, and uh, our overall um, aerodynamics and etc. We're able to improve our fuel economy. That's actually a great engineering story that maybe we don't have enough time to talk about that because there's a lot of work behind that, right? Yes, there was. Um, also, uh, this car includes a lot of safety technologies and a lot of uh, things, for example, like the navigation now, it's standard in every every model and everything? Yes, Navi is standard on all models, on our, based on our Saturn our SV model, and also uh, Bose Audio is standard as well. Uh, it's being able to give those, you know, type of refinement and those unique features on a base level we were able to, you know, really push this as uh, all new Armada. For safety, we're actually doing our entire Nissan safety suite for this uh, vehicle to include backup intervention, collision intervention, which will actually stop the vehicle if, to it'll avoid... It'll stop on its own? It'll stop on its own to uh, avoid hitting an object back there that gets into your... That's for like uh, parking maneuvers and all uh, those kind of things? Pulling out of your garage or your driveway, the garbage can on your kids' bikes in there. Which or... is like, I think, the, <laughs> the most common accident, right? Like, not only this car, but like in general, I think most oh. of the accidents occur like when you're like trying to trying to drive and slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> when you're not doing anything like that. You don't think it's too dangerous, but it actually is like kind of risky. Uh, we we're talking about the power train and like, there you go, you feel like, you know, it's a big vehicle, but like with that power train, like you feel that you can really move in this thing. Yes, it does. It has a great quick response due to our new seven speed automatic transmission. Uh, it gets a lower, a higher gear ratio. It's, than our outgoing five speed to really able to give you that power and that torque at a lower band so you can really get the acceleration that you're asking for. So this is a very interesting segment because I mean uh, here in the US with the prices so gas prices so, so low now and people are still like looking at the V8 again with some love. <laughs> That's true. What we've noticed in this particular segment is the, the people who get into a full-size SUV tend to stay in a full-size SUV due to their family or unique needs. Either they're hauling cargo or towing or they have a large family. So once they get into a full-size SUV, they're used to that. And fuel economy um, and those prices, the fuel price for gas, isn't necessarily one of their main purchase reasons. Yeah. But still, I mean, I gave, what, what, we don't have a number yet for the EBA number, official number for the... 
It is 16 miles per oh, hour. 16 miles per hour combined, okay, yeah, which is great. I mean, for this kind of the amount of things that you can do, do this. So, this one has three rows, obviously. This one has the captain seats in the back, but you can yes. have the bench also. Yes, the bench. This is actually a option off of our platinum edition, platinum trim, with the captain's chairs, with the removable center console. If you wish to actually walk to the third row. A okay. uh, towing capacity for this model is 8,500 pounds standard. So every model will have the same. There's no towing package required. And uh, is, uh, that yeah. obviously that's more than enough that people would do with these kind of vehicle, right? Like yeah. Right. 21 foot boat or something like that. We found that 8500 is more than enough for the capacity for this segment of buyer. And uh, so one, one more thing about it. I mean, obviously you can see how beautiful this interior is and all that. And one thing that was very surprising when I heard it this morning, the starting price for, uh, not maybe for not this model, this is the black one, the, this the, is the high, end. high end. But the, the base model starts like really low. Yes, the base price for Armada 4x2 SV is $44,400. Oh, are you going to make any money with that? Yes, I promise <laughs> we'll make money. <laughs> yeah, that's your job. I mean, you'll, job. Be, you'll be in trouble if they did it, right? Yes. So we're here in, um, in Northern California. No, well, yeah, Northern California, south of San Francisco. Yeah. And we're going to Laguna Seca, but not to the racetrack. We're going to the off-road. Um, track that is there and actually I've been to Laguna Sega many times but I haven't been to the off-road part of it so it's gonna be very interesting because obviously this has a lot of off-road capability too. Yes it's still a truck it's built on a frame and it still has all the capability of being able to go off-road and the, the course that we have laid out is extreme so we're hoping that you guys have a lot of fun. Well let's go and, and see how it is and then uh, we we'll talk a little bit more about it. Okay great. Thank you. pretty good uh, little off-road uh, testing there I mean you can really see the articulation like all the cool technology and, and still I mean it was off-roading obviously but yes, it feels right. comfortable <laughs> yes the independent rear and front suspension allow you to really be able to take any of those hills that you want yeah and again being a big big vehicle I mean the, some of the angles we were taking there were like pretty extreme and still yeah. no problem with no it. problem very capable truck in any sort of off-road environment yeah that was great um, so the other thing that we were testing on the road was like the autom uh, automatic braking system, which mm -hmm. is always on, I understand, right? So with distance, con distance control, you're actually going to have to turn that on. However, forward emergency braking would always oh, be okay. activated, yes. And that's really a system that, uh, I mean, you have to learn to trust, I guess, and <laughs> maybe a good way to say it. <laughs> there you go. But it really works well. I mean, it, 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 it will, it will uh, brake uh, completely. Uh, the vehicle right up, up to a certain speed yes it will it will put your vehicle at a complete stop if necessary but really it's not meant to be you know the technology yeah, is, it's not autonomous driving right yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to assist you in not getting into an accident to not actually prevent it for you great technology that that, that uh, Nissan has been implementing in, in many different vehicles now for a few years that's that right? correct yes uh, well, um, thank you very much, Robin, for, for your time. It was thank a great you. experience driving the Armada both on the road and off the road. It was, uh, again, a short test, but it, it really showed uh, what, what the car can do. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. See you next time. Bye.